Apparel hears bipartisan Senate support for Fed independence. Washington, AP, Republican and Democratic senators voiced strong support for an independent Federal Reserve during a hearing with Fed Chair Jerome Powell, one day after President Donald Trump launched another attack directed at Powell on Twitter. Stay independent, Senator John Kennedy, a Republican from Louisiana, told Powell during Wednesday's hearing. I think you're doing a great job. All of us in politics are going to give you advice, but call him as you see him. The support from members of the Senate Banking Committee suggests Trump's attacks on Powell and the Fed have found little traction among members of his own party on Capitol Hill. Trump has called Fed officials boneheads and argued that the central bank should cut interest rates further. The Fed's benchmark rate is in a historically low range of 1.5% to 1.75%. Senator Mark Warner, Democrat from Virginia, said that many other government institutions are under assault from the Trump administration, citing White House attacks on intelligence agencies and turmoil at the Justice Department over the prosecution of Trump's associate Roger Stone. Warner said that if Powell were to see any efforts made to undermine the Fed's independence, he should let the committee know. The Fed's independence is more important than ever at this point, Warner added. Other senators, including Mike Rounds, Republican from South Dakota, and Democrats John Tester from Montana and Jack Reed from Rhode Island also expressed similar sentiments. The comments came on the second day of Powell's semi-annual appearances before Congress. On Tuesday, he testified before the House Financial Services Committee, when Trump criticized him. Trump tweeted Tuesday that the Dow was falling as Powell spoke as usual, and said interest rates in the U.S. were too high. Trump has repeatedly criticized the Fed chair since announcing that he had nominated Powell in 2017, a break with tradition in recent history. Powell told both committees that the U.S. economy is in generally solid shape, having weathered the headwinds last year stemming from the U.S.-China trade war and slower overseas growth. The unemployment rate is near half-century lows, Powell said, and businesses are increasingly willing to hire workers with insufficient skills and train them. Those developments, he said, mean that the benefits of a robust job market are becoming more widely shared, with employment gains broad based across racial and ethnic groups and levels of education. Still, China's viral outbreak remains a threat to the U.S. economy that the Fed is monitoring closely, Powell said Wednesday. We do expect there will be some effects on the U.S. economy, Powell said, but added that it is too early to speculate on the impact. Economists at Goldman Sachs estimate for more on this story, visit the news article link.